Hello everyone, Kirith here, and I really hope this is going to be a very, very, very helpful and easy to understand guide about how to turn up to the Gran Turismo 7 daily races in sport mode with a competitive car. Because I've seen lots of people turn up to these races in uncompetitive cars, and I really don't want people to be having a bad experience of these races, wondering why you're so far behind. So if you've been racing in sport mode, you're really, really, really far behind. This might be the reason, and I've seen people doing this or uh, making these mistakes. So to explain it very simply, the daily races at the moment have a few requirements. And I could enter this race now with my Nissan 350Z or the, or the Fair Lady in Japan. And I would be so uncompetitive, there is no possible way I could win this race. Why is that? So the requirements for this race are very simple. I need to have less than 285, 295 brake horsepower. I need to be heavier than 1200 kilograms now with my car at the moment i am only running 171 brake horsepower and i'm 1500 kilograms so i am way over that minimum weight and i'm way under the maximum brake horsepower uh, kind of permission so i am so underpowered in this race there is almost no point in me entering this race in this car even though as you can see everything is green and i could enter it's the same story for Daily Race A. So you can see here, if I change my car to, um, bear with me. If I change my car to the stock Mazda Demio, and this is the one that you can buy in the used car shop. Again, I'm gonna be so uncompetitive in this car. Bear with me, this one. I'm gonna be so uncompetitive in this car because the maximum brake horsepower limit is 147 brake horsepower. And my stock car is 103. I'm also 80 kilograms overweight as well. So we'll go back to the uh, Daily Race B because this is really a kind of a, a stark contrast. You really have to understand the core requirements of entering the Daily Race when it comes to brake horsepower and weight. And you basically want to be as close to those numbers as possible. You want to increase your brake horsepower to the maximum possible amount and you want to have your car lightened to the maximum possible amount as well. If you're not close to those numbers, then something is not right. And unless you're kind of just trying to test out your car or tune it or in the process of tuning it, if you actually want to be competitive, you're probably going to have a bad experience. So what you need to do to um, change this, and I'll show you in a car that I've already tuned, for example, uh, this Alpine. So this Alpine is, is ready to go, but I'll show you what I've done. So the important thing is you need to install a power restrictor and a ECU as well, and that allows you to restrict the brake horsepower on your car so you can see if i've reduced if i reduce the um power through the power restrictor you can see my brake horsepower has reduced by uh, about th what is that 39 um brake horsepower and you can see the same thing with the output as well so i can keep detuning that car now for the weight it's very simple you just need to add um, ballast here so the maximum ballast you can add is 200 kg and you can see that's gonna um, get me over the, the required limit if i was to run here then this car, I think, would be underweight. Yeah, underweight and also underpowered. But however, if I was to get the weight above 1,200 kilograms, I'm still going to be underpowered. I'm still only running 237 brake horsepower. So really do please bear that in mind when it comes to entering cars in sport mode. If anything in here isn't clear, ask me in the comments. During our Discord, there's 1,600 sim racers in the Discord. I, my mission with making this video is I just want to make as many people aware that don't know that you need to tune your cars for sport mode. You need to get as close as possible to those requirements. If you don't and you're expecting to have close racing, you're probably going to be disappointed. So if you enjoyed this video, please do share it. If you think it's helpful, please do you know let other people know um, about these principles. Feel free to like and subscribe as well. But please let people know if, if they seem to be struggling with these requirements that you need to adjust your power and adjust your weight. And it's actually very simple how to do that. You just need to buy ballast and um, buy the power restrictor and ECU in uh, the tuning shop and then you can tune your car to get it close to those requirements. So again, I really hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time.